My father was a clock repairman and had a business as he retired where he made clocks and repaired clocks. And so I grew up around it quite a bit and lived in a house where at times there were in excess of 100 clocks running and chiming all at the same time to drive you crazy. So it's no wonder that Owen County's most prominent clock, one that hadn't functioned properly for decades, caught Ronan's eye. When I moved here 15 years ago, I noticed that the clock didn't run right. It rarely ever had the right time and it never struck correctly. It stuck with Ronan and eventually, he shared his concern with some co-workers at Bloomington's Cook Medical. At some point we were sitting at lunch one day and it came up that uh, Spencer's clock hadn't run in years and you know, two engineers and a horologist ought to be enough to figure out how to get a clock running. The sheriff arranged a tour and what they found inside was a Seth Thomas Model 16 public clock installed in 1911. Well, there's a central machine uh, we would call the clock. It is weight driven. It is geared down so that there is a central shaft that comes out of this machine that rotates once an hour. It goes to a differential that goes to each clock dial. There is a second device behind the dial that divides that one revolution into one twelfth, and that's where your hour hand is fastened to. For every one revolution the clock makes, the hour hand makes one twelfth of a revolution. At least that's how it's supposed to work. What the guys found during that first tour was more than a little concerning. 60, 70 percent of the parts that were made that clock mechanically run were gone. Most of these clocks by the 40s and 50s were getting converted to electric. There were a couple of companies in the country that went around and converted hundreds and hundreds of these clocks to electric because it took the maintenance away from it. All they did was take all of the drivetrain off and put an electric motor on that drove the faces instead. Despite the missing parts and lengthy list of other issues, the restoration seemed doable. From a technical standpoint, it's actually fairly simple. Gary Neff, being trained as a urologist, that wasn't a problem for him. He knew exactly what to get, what was going to be needed. The really hard part is, it's in a very difficult place to get to. And all of those parts are really, really heavy. It's a cast iron frame. Eventually, the clock was relocated to Ronan's shop, just a few blocks from the courthouse. It was a beautiful clock. If we rebuilt it, taking it back to its original condition, if you will, it would still be a very accurate clock, not quartz accurate, probably, but still a very accurate clock. So the decades old modifications had to go, which wouldn't be easy. The clock is currently made up of three different clocks and several parts that I machined. <laughs> After months of work, and just before one of the county's bicentennial celebrations, the clock was reinstalled, this time with the help of a crane. It was as good as new, and with one modern concession. We're running the clock as a purely mechanical clock. That means that there's weights that drive the pendulum mechanism, and there's weights that drive the bell tone mechanism. Those weights would normally have been hand raised. We'd go up with a big handle and crank a winch up. We've put electric motors on there so somebody doesn't have to go up and do that all of the time. A century old self-winding clock, which is good news for Ronan, who suddenly found himself with a new part-time job. I've now become the official timekeeper for the Owen County Courthouse clock because I can see it and I stop and either speed it up or slow it down on a regular basis. He can have the calls, although I have a feeling I will probably come stop by and check on it occasionally myself, just because just it's my baby now. Is there any particular reason in the modern age why you have to have a clock on top of the courthouse? I think the answer would be no, but just the fact that it's there, very publicly visible, working, as opposed to not working. I think that has a a psychological effect that's positive. Right now everybody has a watch or they have a phone or something that tells them what time it is. 
100 years ago, that didn't exist. They were expensive pieces to have. It was hard to keep them on time, to keep them running and everything else. And so the courthouse, it was relied upon by the people when they came to town. They could see what time it was and people could adjust their watches to the courthouse time. And now, thanks to Ronan, Carl, and Gary, Spencer residents can rely on their clock once again.